Well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, hope you're hope you're having a great day. Um, yeah, it's uh, I'm, I'm a smooth man now. If you wanted to notice that, but uh, it's day 259 of Church in the Time of Quarantine, and it is December 2nd. Uh, so on this day, 1804, uh, Napoleon was crowned emperor of the French uh, French people, um, or the French Republic. What? Emperor of the Emperor of the French, that was what it was. And if you're curious, who crowned Napoleon? Well, it was Napoleon. Uh, Pope uh, Pius the Seventh handed him the crown, and then Napoleon crowned himself. Okay, uh, so there's your humility of the day. Uh, 1983, big one from Wisconsin. Uh, Aaron Rodgers was born in Chico, California. Happy birthday, Aaron! And um, in 1993, yesterday we remembered uh, Colombian drug lord Pablo Escobar being born uh, on that day. Well, today he was killed. Uh, years later, 1993, uh, shot in, uh, through the year uh, by Colombian police. Uh, so, no more Pablo. Okay, uh, reminder, uh, if you were doing the soup ministry, we had pickup uh, for the soup containers today. If you missed that, um, you can still come by in the morning tomorrow or Friday, uh, and those will still be available. Also, if you don't feel like making soup but you want to contribute, you can always bring crackers um, and just drop those off because we will uh, deliver those of the soup containers. But there's still uh, still a number of soup containers left, so uh, encourage you to uh, to pick some up. Okay, well that brings us to trivia. Uh, yesterday we asked uh, who was the first Prime Minister of Israel, uh, and that was David Ben-Gurion, and we had one correct answer, it came from Lee Nelson. So congratulations Lee, good job on that. So since we had one famous Wisconsin thing today with Aaron Rodgers, we'll have a trivia Wisconsin. So on this day in 1954, so December 2nd, 1954, this Wisconsin Senator was censured in a vote of 65 to 22 by the United States Senate. So the senator censured by the Senate. Try to say that a bunch of times fast. Uh, 1954, December 2nd. Know that? Send that on in. And that gets us to our reflection today. It's a little theological. Um, it's from Cyril, uh, or yeah, Cyril, Jer Cyril of Alexandria, not Cyril, Cyril of Jerusalem. Uh, yes, that's right. Uh, anyway, he was the, uh, the patriarch of... Uh, of Alexandria, uh, which is kind of like their bishop, sort of something like that. So anyway, he's talking about the two natures of Christ, and like I said, it's a little theological, but uh, it's it's worth hearing, because we're getting towards that. It says this, In declaring that the Word was made to be incarnate and made human, we do not assert that there was any change in the nature of the Word when it became flesh, or that it was transformed into an entire human being, consisting of soul and body. But we say that the Word in an indescribable and inconceivable manner, united personally to himself, flesh endowed with a rational soul, and thus became a human being and was called the Son of Man. And this was not by a mere act of will or favor, nor simply adopting a role or taking to himself a person. The natures which were brought together to form a true unity were different, but out of both in one Christ and one Son, we do not mean that the difference of the natures is annihilated by reason of this union, but rather the divinity and the humanity, by their inexpressible and inexplicable concurrence in unity, have produced for us the one Lord and Son, Jesus Christ. Okay, so if you're wondering what happens in the Incarnation, we got it right there from the mouth of Cyril of Alexandria today. Okay, uh, we'll just end with a quick prayer. Almighty God, you have poured upon us the new light of your incarnate word. Grant that this light, enkindled in our hearts, may shine forth in our lives. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. All right, well, have a great day.